RNG underperforming so far. I mean, they've, they're just having like issues, right? Like they had contract issues, so they're behind other teams. Like Ming, Ming didn't sign until I believe February 3rd. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Most teams have started practicing, like, even even some of these LPL teams that played the Masia Cup, like, they started practicing in December, like, early December. And you have RNG, who didn't even have, like, a finalized roster until early February. Like, dude, Ming signed for the year at the same time that teams in LA, that Fnatic ended their fucking split. Like, it's crazy. Dude, I, I don't know if I, like... I'm not sure what I'd rather see. I don't know. I don't know if I'd rather see a close series here or JDG just pop the f off. Because RNG has played a bunch of, of close games. Even though they, they have a bad record, they've been like in most of the games that they've lost. Within a few thousand gold, lose a crucial fight, lose the game. They've been playing really hard drafts. That's the thing that about RNG that I think is the most important point. Is that RNG has looked pretty good, but they're playing horrible drafts. So what like where do you rate them? They're probably not as bad as the record indicates. Also, they are they have, like, not the easiest strength of schedule considering who's actually good this year in LPL. I mean, that being said, they obviously, like, if they can't get good drafts, it's an issue on the team. But I don't know if there's going to be, like, massive champ pool issues. All right, bro, no break. This is how you do it in LPL, bro. No break. The break. Oh, so, so this one, they're actually going to jump in because it's only four minutes in. So if it's 20 minutes in, they'll play it on a delay. If they can jump into the game and it's, like, in the first four minutes, they'll normally just jump into it. So what happened here? Kanavi's playing Silas Jungle. And they lost a 2v2 top. Oh no, they lost a level 1 fight, it looks like. Never mind. They lost a bot fight, and then Wei also ganked top. What the f***? Wei ganked top and bot at 4 minutes, most likely. Why did Ash become so broken? Uh, I mean, I don't think it even became that broken. People just didn't know that it was that good. Wow, the Merc treads, bro. So hard to get through. Tangyuan will just TP mid. Way is putting the um, Herald top to try to snowball the Jace. I mean, you're playing the Ziggs to try to play this this weak side, but because they're so far behind, he's going to just come top and break this turret. <laughs> Wait. Holy. Sh Gal almost died to that. Sh all right. Which shouldn't be controversial at all. Oh, good arrow. Bro, that was that hitbox on arrow is kind of. F he was dead anyway though because they like TPing the whole squad. Essentially a four-man bot. That arrow was like right on the edge of the. Yeah, it's right on the edge of the hitbox. Ooh, another Ash arrow. They can't go on this play. Ooh, he canceled the Q. Mm. Ruler played that pretty safe. He played that pretty safe. I guess it was fine, though. Oh my god, bro. That would have hit if he didn't cancel his recall. Okay, Knight. Alright, I like that. Dude, okay, you gotta recall at your tier 3, bro. You can't recall at your fucking tier 2 versus, versus JDG. You gotta, you gotta recall at your fucking tier 3. Uh, JDG looks good, though. They, they really look um, coordinated as a team. They all, they all play together really well. Why do Asian teams love Ziggs at the moment? Because the bot lane meta is like super oppressive. Ooh, missing is no flash. They can maybe kill him. Ruler might be able to open up and just murder them though. He's got Ginsu's and he's just hitting for free. Ooh, did he get canceled out of his Q? No, he didn't. Oh, four, ma four man Everfrost or like three man Everfrost root? Okay, Ruler did not end up flashing for that because he's saving it for Drake fight. Correct play from Ruler. So many AD carries would flash to try to just get the kill, but even if you get this kill, it's better to have your flash for the Drake fight. A Knight wants to make sure he doesn't get chunked. Good vision control from JDG. Scion is just going to ditch the wave and come here now. Oh my god, they just murder him from 1 million range. Jesus, bro. Alright, probably GG angle. It's probably Soul. Yeah, Ruler and Kanavi just doing it. Three people zoning. I mean, dude, this is like what JDG is really good at. Like, they just play like the game well, man. 
Uh, Ruler is, is actually such a smart pickup. I mean, obviously, P I don't even know if they did it because Ruler's, like, playstyle or anything. It could just be Ruler's, like, what is probably the best player available, right? That they could have got. So they, so, I don't even know if they, like, thought about it as deep as, but, like, stylistically, the, the matchup, the, the match works well, too. This is murder, bro. Even though it's only, like, a 2k gold lead, it feels like, it feels like RNG could never win when you're watching this game. Oh my god, <laughs> we hate Tugun. Oh, it's so unlucky for him, whatever. Uh, Kanavi, oh, okay, Kanavi with the movement? Wait, that was actually, dude, wait a second, he's just making fun of them. I really like that, he eat over the wall to steal a Kali ult, and then he R's back over and then flash R2s. That's literally the only way he could have lived. I mean, they just turn on Wei and kill him. Ooh, Varus did not ult yet. Ash Arrow now. Still holding Varus ult. Are they going to go back onto it? They have Mountain Soul, so they can probably just tank it again. Ruler can just lifesteal off of it. They don't have Ash ult and Varus ult anymore, but they have everyone else. They should just turn. Yeah, they should just straight turn. Uh, that's correct. They should definitely just not risk a flip here versus the Sejuani. They can just tank this forever and then turn like whenever they have their spells off cooldown. Knight can just make fun of them. They actually don't even need to finish the bear. They can just tank this forever. And now they just finish it because they steal the Nautilus ult and cast it on Sejuani. This team is really playing well. They're really playing well. They're playing They're playing the cleanest games right now, for sure. I mean, the question is going to be, like, what is the level of, like, the, the you know, teams in, in Korea right now? Like, maybe, like, obviously T1's having some some not clean games. Like, their recent games versus Bro, their recent games versus Nongshim were, were not super clean. But maybe T1 really doesn't give a right now like whereas like jdg's a new team right and they're like they want to like show how good they are whereas like t1 they like all respect each other already and they already have that like team bond and everything so maybe t1 is not they don't they don't feel the pressure to perform the same way like jdg they're all trying to show each other how strong they are like missing wants to play well for ruler he just got one of the goat 80 carries like missing wants to show that he's worthy of playing with a goat 80 carry no i don't think t1 is trash. i think t1 is good i just think that they don't have to like care as much like to me when i'm when i'm seeing a team and I'm like, oh, am I worried about this team collapsing? It's definitely not a team that, like, has five mechanically, like, strong players like this. And they don't play the game in a way that, like, they don't play a, a dishonest game where they're doing, they're, like, cheesing their opponents and that's how they're winning. Like, they literally just look like they're better than other teams. And their their coordination looks good. Their laning looks good. I feel like the, the only reason you'd be scared of this team collapsing is if you just have, like, a fear of teams collapsing in general. If Angel's available, why isn't he playing game one? Because they're still deciding who's better for the team. Dude, it's so crazy. This, this roster is this. These players are on this roster. They've been playing together less than a week and people are are g giving up on RNG because they're losing to JDG and because they lost to EDG on one day of practice. Like, it's actually crazy, bro. Ooh, the ruler Kaylin. Okay, so this is something that we thought about. We, we had a little thought experiment and we we talked about Kaylin Ashlane. It doesn't sound like the best lane on paper, but this is like one of the potential answers. We literally had just discussed the viability of this Kaylin pick into the Varus Heimer lane with the Ash support. Let's see it. Let's see it. I think that this is actually one of the losable JDG drafts. Like, they definitely don't have a very easy win condition, so they're going to have to play well to win this game. Way is just... Oh, this is... So this is the bow move, but it's not going to work. It doesn't work here. I don't think. Oh, maybe it does. Knight's playing playing up. He has to try to get to his jungler. Oh, my God. Is he just going to kill him? Oh, my God. He just murdered him. Wait, what the f***? Hold up. Wait, I thought he had to flash to his jungler. What the f***? Yo! Oh, that is not a good flash from Angel. He's just dead anyway. I guess he trades flash for flash with the Elise there, but it's not good. First strike Elise? I don't like first strike Elise. I think it's PTA, Electrocute, or Dark Harvest. Bro, I didn't know that that was an angle. I didn't know that he just murders them. I mean, I guess he's got the wave on his side. Just goes for the jungler here. 
We had no Q? He still had no Q. Yeah, he doesn't trade flash, actually. Lisa already flashed. All right. <laughs> I mean, dude, JDG is just better than other teams. It's kind of sad. Like, they, they, there's like three teams that could fight with JDG. One of them is this Saturday. Or is it Sunday? JDG versus Weibo is, is the one I'm looking forward to. Or this team is, I mean, this is just a legit super team. Wait, you know how people just say super teams are bad? But then, like, when a super team is made of actually players that are super, it just looks good? <laughs> Dude, the super teams are only bad when the players that are making up the super team are actually not as good as advertised. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, don't do it to them. Okay. He's doing this to Gala, by the way. Yep. What's the excuse now for people who say that Uzi is better than Ruler? Literally, no one says this. Just so you know, like, there is literally not a soul that you're arguing against. Oh man, Wei can't play the game. It's so sad. He's just dead. It's just depressing. Angel is going back into the gulag. Yeah, I mean, people wanted to see Angel play. I mean, what, what happened? Like, the gang from Wei did completely the lane but i don't think it would have went much better i mean it's it, like what, what do we even gain out of this though because i really wanted to see the the caitlin ash matchup into heimer Varus because like in theory it makes sense in my head but i wanted to just see like how it played out but jdg is so much better that you're just getting like fake info comes kanavi look for way there it is it's the right target like oh Oh, it's so sad. Oh my god, man. Just make it stop. Oh my god, Ruler just entered. Wait, Ruler just entered so hard. It's fine. He's playing for fun. <laughs> Ruler fing sent it. I think that might be like one of his first mistakes of the entire split. Oh, good from Breathe. Oh, he loses anyway. Oh, just FF, man. Oh, just FF. Wait, Breathe played it well too. No, I like I like seeing a lot of like the imports. Um, like really trying to. It feels like imports around the world are putting more effort into just like learning the language. Like, for example, Prince seems like he's he's trying like hard to to fit in and 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 speak English now that he's playing in LCS. Same thing with Photon, same thing with Bo. Like, Ruler over here is doing it as well. Viper did it when he came here. It just seems like that was something that, that didn't happen that much before. Like, look, Daily Piglet Flame, that mother put in zero effort to learn English. There was no, like, English teacher, English lessons, like, try to speak English. It was, it was just, it was what it was. Oh my god, the flash. Q Gore Drinker, Ruler's flanking again! The Ruler flank again! Oh my god. First time it didn't succeed. Try, try again. All right. <laughs> Ruler is just flanking on Caitlyn over and over again. All right. Zeus got a little choker in him, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think, th I think that's fair. I definitely, Zeus didn't look as good at Worlds as he looked um, domestically. And I mean, like, come on, bro. If you're if you're the best top laner in the world, you just can't get gapped by King in, in the world finals. Like, in the biggest match that you play the entire year, you can't get gapped by, like, a mid-level top laner. Like, I mean, out of, like, the the top tier globally, like, where where would you put King in? If, if you think King in is top five, I think you're lying to yourself. He was just the guy that, like, played Orin and, and did that combo. And it was pretty clean that one time, you know? Oh my god, just W and Kaelin ult, the guy's almost dead. How do you play? How do you play? How do you play? How do you play? It's depressing. They, they are actually just getting like 3v5. They actually just got 3v5 here. How long until E for 369? 
Chris will be back in just a second. Gala trying to survive, uses his ultimate as ruler. Let him know, ruler. Don't see how they're gonna win a 5v5. To get to the gym. Mm, Angel got hit by it. He has the Mikhail's. It's just <laughs> all right now. People are just already having their man the mandate proc on them, so they're just that's weird. Yeah, they're making fun of people in the LPL right now. All right, let's see, bro. JDG looks good as... That was a short day of LPL. <laughs> 